It's a problem plaguing the Delta for decades, water hyacinth. It's an invasive, non-native aquatic weed. It floats on the water's surface. It was introduced from South America over 100 years ago because it has pretty flowers, but now it's spread out of control. The growth exacerbated by the historic drought as water temperatures increased and water flow decreased. People who live near the Delta were almost pushed out. In the summertime, no swimming, no kayaking. Uh, the boating was very difficult. Um, properties uh, values went way, way down. It was hard to sell houses. Um, and a lot of people were going, gosh, if this is the way to the future, you know, we're probably going to have to pack up and go. But things are improving. A partnership between state and local agencies led by the USDA has made progress managing water hyacinth. In the last two years, it's decreased by 20 percent. Three years ago, in Discovery Bay, there there's 26 bays, and you could almost literally walk across the weeds to the neighbors on the other side. Um, and now, uh, like I said, it's, it's, it's pretty much gone. The USDA says the work isn't over. It's using new technologies to continue to manage the water weed, including partnering with NASA for bi-monthly mapping of the Delta to attack the hyacinth wherever it pops up. Well, we hope to see that level of reduction each year uh, until the point there's, gonna, there's always, we're never going to eradicate or get rid of the water hyacinth, but we're going to reduce the need for control. Which comes as a relief for residents. Now it's, you know, happy days are here again. In San Joaquin County, Natalie Brunel, KCRA 3 News.